All flights in and out of Gatwick, Britain's second busiest airport, have been suspended after two drones were seen flying near the runway. It happened just this afternoon, a very close call between a drone and an airliner on approach to New York's Kennedy Airport with 159 people on board. It was a response to reports of a drone sighting. How's it going everybody welcome back to another video today we are going to be having a very informative video because i'm gonna tell you how the future drones would be becoming more and more safe and they would be able to fly alongside the commercial airlines whether they would be the recreational drones or they would be a drone taxi as we are seeing in uh, news these days and i'm also going to show you the in-depth working of this technology which is making the drone safe and also preventing hazards like drone crashing into the flights so stay till the very end and let's start the video with intro so the purpose of making this video is to introduce you to a new technology which is making the drone safe so recently you have been listening to a lot of news of commercial airlines pilot complaining about drone sighting near the airports when they're landing or when they're taking off and maybe also some news like drone crash into the planes or uh, whatsoever involving drones so there has been a safety issue a safety hazard involving drones and commercial airlines because these drones are uh, becoming more and more accessible more and more people are flying drones and uh, they are into the drone hobby either for recreational purposes or photography for wedding photography or uh, aerial videography or whatsoever so it has become extremely important to have uh, some kind of safety measures to prevent hazards like drone crashing into the flights or drone uh, being into the runway or into the sight of any commercial airlines pilot which can create panic situations or uh, fatal accidents so that is why all the major drone manufacturers the civil aviation bodies and the governments are working together to have a certain set of rules so they can work with some uh, certain sets of protocols and safety measures to prevent these kinds of accidents Accident. And recently DJI which is a renowned drone manufacturer from China has come up with their new technology known as uh, AirSense uh, which they will be implementing to all their future drones that will make the common airspace more and more safe so commercial air flights and drones do not cross each other's path that is very important to prevent any fatal accidents. So we're going to talk about AirSense in a bit. Before that I want to touch some more points uh, like uh, DGCA which is the Director General of Civil Aviation. The aviation control body of India has also come up with some set of rules which, which every drone pilot is expected to follow. And one of the rule uh, there is that the drone pilot should be in constant communication with the air traffic controller which sounds very stupid to me but again it's a necessary evil because the commercial flights and the drones are cop sharing a common airspace and they need to be in sync with each other so there is no accidents as such also if you're like someone who thinks that drones are really small and they cannot do much damage to flying aircraft which are really big like boeing 737 or airbus a320 a380 then let me share a small video clip with you this is by university of dayton research institute and in collaboration with Sinclair College National US. So what they do, they uh, emulated an environment where a uh, DJI Phantom drone, which is one of the common drone, uh, is being collided with a commercial aircraft and the environment was created such a way that it uh, emulates a real life scenario. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out and see what damage a drone could do to a flying aircraft. miles per hour, a speed that approximates the closing speed between the two aircraft. The drone did not shatter apart. It completely penetrated and it was buried inside the wing. You can see a hole in the leading edge here. The main spar is dented. There's several fasteners that are pulled from the spar from the wing skin. There's uh, some stringers that are bent. There's also some tubing inside that was also bent. So uh, there was a, s a substantial amount of damage to the wing. So as you have seen, uh, quite a lot of damage can be done by a drone if uh, collided to a commercial flying aircraft and that is really fatal to a lot of life on board and it is something not acceptable. And as a government of any country or commercial regulation body, it's their uh, duty to make the airspace with the drones and uh, flights are sharing more and more safe and hazard proofs. And that is why there's a need of technology which can make this airspace more and more safe. Also many times uh, recently there has been some uh, news articles, uh, there has been some videos, there has been some clipping of uh, drone sighting by airline pilots so they see drones near the runway while taking off or while landing and there's a panic situation being created no one is really sure how authentic these news are but uh, again there is a possibility and we have to believe that also let's take example of Delhi airport Delhi airport is in Gurgaon and then there is also a lot of uh, wedding or reception venues near that area and I have personally seen 
uh, wedding photographer using drones in that area so i think it's quite possible that an airline pilot uh, could have seen a drone while taking off or while landing and this is something really serious and needs to be addressed drone community people sometimes like to think that these news are hoax but if there is a slight possibility of uh, drones and airlines coming into each other airspace then we have to believe that and we have to take uh, suitable measures to prevent any accident that may cause loss of life or property and that is why new technology needs to be developed well talking about new technology making drones safe to fly alongside in the same airspace with commercial airlines dji recently announced uh, air sense uh, technology which allows uh, drone pilots to track and monitor uh, the planes in the same airspace uh, in real time and there are some highlights to this technology that I wanted to quickly run by you so AirSense is the name of the technology and it's uh, currently present in only two of their drones one is the Mavic industry and other one is one used by the film uh, industry people uh, but uh, coming in the future every DJI drone over 250 grams of weight will have this technology so they can track uh, planes flying in the same airspace in real time this also can alert the drone pilot about the plane in the near vicinity so drone pilot can take suitable measures before it's too late so DJ air sense technology seems promising and uh, yes again as a pilot I would like to know if there is any plane nearby so I can control my drone I can land it off or I can uh, change the path before it crosses path with a commercial airline and that is a really good technology and yeah I'm looking forward to DJ air sense technology the future of aviation involves drones working collaboratively with traditional aircraft for years, DJI has been on the leading edge of innovation, especially when it comes to safety. Now we're taking the next step, giving almost all drone pilots the ability to detect airplanes and helicopters that are flying nearby. We call that DJI AirSense. AirSense uses a special signal called ADS-B that airplanes and helicopters transmit to show their location. When AirSense receives an ADS-B signal, the DJI mobile app alerts the pilot with enough time to take action. ADS-B was designed for airplanes and helicopters, but already there are more drones in the sky than either of them. DJI's decision to equip the majority of its drones with ADS-B is a very positive development and an important safety improvement in the use of drones in the national airspace system. So going more in depth, DJI mentioned in a video that they are using ADSB technology or automatic dependent surveillance broadcast to track planes in real time in the vicinity of the same airspace. So ADSB, if you talk about ADSB, every plane or every helicopter or every flying thing that is commercially acknowledged by a flying regulatory body of a country. Uh, are supposed to be having ADSB transponders. Or, so what this ADSB transponders do? They send out some data like the GPS coordinates of the plane, the speed at which it's flying, its altitude, and its heading, all kind of things. So without any manual inter intervention, so pilot doesn't have to do anything. The ADSB transponder the sense of the data automatically which can be picked by uh, anyone with an ADSB receiver which can be picked by air traffic controller which can be picked by any regulatory body to uh, do anything so if you have an ADSB receiver you can do that too and DJI drones are going to come with this ADSB receiver so ADSB receiver will be able to track the planes in real time they would be fetching the data of all the planes in the real vicinity so it would be having some certain range and based on that ADSB reception data the telemetry data which a drone would be receiving the pilots will be notified that uh, this or this plane is in your near vicinity so to land your drone or take it somewhere else or to lower the height with this ADSB technology coming to the drones I really think that would uh, really be helpful uh, but talking about other manufacturers there has been no such uh, notification coming out from other manufacturers uh, that this ADSB technology is going to be in that their drones as well currently only DJI which is uh, naming it as AirSense uh, has announced this ADSB technology uh, receivers in their drones so let's see maybe this would be made mandatory in all the drones uh, uh, in the future who knows uh, this just has to be uh, done by the civil aviation body like DGC in India and this could be one of the rule car going forward so ADSB protocol works on 1090 megahertz and anyone with ADSB receiver can track the planes and know about their heading direction speed whatsoever and that is what DJ has been doing and I'm not sure about this race drones because we don't take it to very much height but but maybe we also need to put some ADSB receivers in this drone so somehow we could get the telemetry data that uh, so and so planes is near vicinity and uh, land the drone or whatsoever so according to DJI the pilot will only be notified as of now there won't be any automatic action 
to be done by the drone so drone pilot on the screen will just get a notification that this plane is flying near your vicinity so take your drone off but uh, DJ has not mentioned that like, they would be automatically landing the drone or taking it somewhere else so uh, yeah maybe in future they would be uh, uh, rolling out a software update to do that but uh, who knows talking about ADSB receiver you can also track the planes at your homes if you have an ADSB receiver uh, actually I got to have one of the ADSB receiver which is not actually an ADSB receiver but something known as RTLSDR so this is a small uh, SDR also known as software defined radio using which uh, you can track planes it can act as an ADSB receiver so this is uh, its antenna as you can see uh, so if I connect this antenna to this uh, RTL dongle RTL SDR dongle and put it on my laptop and run a program I can see the planes near my vicinity near my area which I'm also going to show you so let's move to the computer screen and, and I'll show you how ADSB data looks like how we can track plane and what all kind of information the planes are sending out continuously so yeah let's move to the computer screen okay so we just moved to the computer screen I connected my RTL SDR dongle to the USB port and this is the antenna uh, right here as you can see I put this antenna here and this would be acting as ADSB receiver and we'll be tracking planes uh, near my airspace uh, so I'll switch over to the computer screen and show you how that looks like so on the computer screen as you can see this is the application which is an ADSB uh, tracker application which I'm running it's currently showing two planes uh, one is uh, this one with altitude 6850 another is with altitude 9450 uh, uh, as you can see there are some more data like RSSI which is radio signal strength indicator uh, that means how far this plane is from my receiver uh, so similarly drone can know how far from the plane is uh, from uh, them using this RSSI value uh, these are the flight name as you can see 0522 uh, but there is no fun seeing that on a terminal so let's move to a graphical application where you would understand it more better uh, so I'm running a graphical application here as you can see that's my area and there are two planes right here on this on the right side as you can see uh, so if I click any of this, this can give more details so these planes are not transmitting uh, much data like we cannot see their speed we cannot see their position uh, but that's not true for everything for example uh, I just received two more planes uh, one from Indian origin uh, country of registration India uh, this is the RSSI another is from uh, country of uh, registration Malaysia uh, so this has to be a Malaysian Airlines plane as you can see the speed is 876 km per hour uh, the heading is southeast 124 degrees uh, RSSI 38 uh, dBs uh, and this is the Indian plane as you can see speed is 656 km per hour altitude is uh, 11725 feet so that is how the ADSB tracker work and similarly the drone has uh, some kind of ADSB tracker whether they are RTL SDR uh, based uh, chips or whether they are dedicated uh, ADSB tracker and that is how uh, the drone pilots will be getting the data so also DJI can uh, in future roll out software updates which based on this data can take certain action like lander automatically if it's uh, near to a plane or change the heading uh, and yeah that's all how you track the plane using ADSB uh, technology and uh, using a cheap RTL SDR $20 dongle uh, if you want to try this at your home I'm gonna link down below the dongle so you can buy also I'm gonna post a step by step tutorial on my blog uh, the link would be displaying here and also on my uh, description box of this video so do check it out and yeah so that was the demo now let's move back and talk more about it in more details so as you can see using an RTL SDR we can see so much about the plane data their heading their speed what kind of plane is it where it's coming from where it's going and uh, that's only a $20 SDR and the small antenna uh, on that note I'm gonna end this video right here hope that is helpful for you you learned something new today you learned about how the future of drones would be more safe and drones would be sharing the common airspace with the commercial flights very safely because there are more number of drones these days then there are the commercial flights also before ending the video one last fact uh, ADSB transponders are not available in every helicopter or every uh, plane but going forward uh, FAA which is uh, the authority of uh, regulating civil flights in USA have made it uh, compulsory maybe by 2020 every plane has to have an air ADSB transponder so that is the fact uh, before ending this video on this note i'm gonna end this video if you like it if you learned something new then leave a like down below subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon and do every shit youtubers ask you to do because now i'm one of them see you next time